Hi, this is Rick Bentley with Connext, and you're looking at the perimeter intrusion detector built between Connext and Intellivision. What you can see here are a series of events. Um, as you see people walking along the fence line, the red box is motion being detected. That's not a barrier crossing event or an intrusion detection event. And even though the people walk off frame behind the fence line, you can see that no event was detected. Uh, when an event is detected, you see it show up in the bottom box under events. Here the people walk back, again uh, their shadows do fall within the perimeter area without causing a, uh, a detection event. Of course in the final integrated system you don't see the windows box down below with events showing up in a list. It's all integrated into the connect system which can then integrate with legacy notification systems or with a simple email type of uh, notification. Here the bad guy has crossed the barrier. You see the event show up down at the bottom that was uh, running across the barrier. We have also see crawling, rolling, and jumping. The way the connect system works is there's two parts. There's the back end network operation center which either connects can host or the end user can run themselves. And the edge equipment which we also call the CPEs or consumer premise equipment. The CPEs are doing all the recording on the local LAN uh, before they transmit off to the, the data off to the WAN where all the data is stored and centrally uh, at the NOC. The centralized NOC then manages all those devices in the field to set user permissions, uh, handle OS, OS updates, application updates, security patches, things like that. So there's no managing a whole bunch of separate boxes out in the field with the Connect system. It's all done uh, locally. Again, there's jumping, so that's the fourth event. Uh, so as you and here is fence cutting, uh, fifth event. So between connects and television, we think we have an excellent solution for intrusion barrier detection.